Hey guys, so I am an educator at Unacademy and you can follow me over there if you are interested to watch videos on basic concepts of chemistry or physical chemistry topics. You can also recommend this to your juniors and to your younger siblings, right? All you need to do is download the Unacademy learning app and watch my videos over there. Now let's just begin with our topic. Right, so a very good evening to you guys. A lot of you were requesting me a video on bio inorganic chemistry. So I've got to you a kind of like a crash course in bio inorganic chemistry. And um, see, there are two things. I, I could not do draw all these structures because um, you know drawing all these structures will take a lot of time, and I seriously don't have that much time to devote to the videos. All right, so please do su suggest me like what I can do, whether I can make these structures because see uh, when I draw the structures, then there are a lot of other stuff that uh, I have to add to in this video. Like for example, the oxidation states of the various metals in this video, I have just given you the important enzymes, uh, the metal, the metal that is involved in those enzymes and the function because a lot of questions are asked just on these three things that they'll give you an enzyme and they'll ask you the metal that is involved or they'll give you the enzyme and they'll ask you the metal and the function of that enzyme so there have been a lot of questions from various entrance exams be it it jam gate net where these kind of questions are asked and then there are sometimes questions on the oxidation states also or how many oxygen atoms are bound to a particular metal so there are questions speci specifically on the heme proteins all right and for that i need the structures and the structures are, are a little um, you know they are a bit, they are quite big right so i cannot actually devote so much time so do suggest me what i can do or either you just want to learn it from the questions itself so i can make a lot of i can do a lot of questions uh, pertaining to uh, inorganic chemistry and then help you with that all right now quickly move on let's quickly move on to the um, enzymes so one is hemoglobin and hemoglobin has iron all of you know and it is uh, utilized in oxygen transport so basically it's a self explanatory slide but still i'll go on if i can add some information so first these enzymes these all enzymes are iron enzymes okay these um, you can say how many enzymes they want two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven enzymes are all iron all iron enzymes all right so you know iron is a very important metal and myoglobin is used for oxygen storage hemerythrin is also used for oxygen transport so there are sometimes confusing questions sometimes given hemoglobin sometimes it's given hemerythrin so hemerythrin is generally uh, you know utilized in marine animals or marine uh, you know you can say marine life aquatic life whereas hemoglobin is um, in general like in humans also you'll find hemoglobin right you won't find he you won't find hemerythrin so hemerythrin is only found in uh, marine organisms all right then we have oxygenase what does oxygenase do again it's a iron metal iron uh, iron enzyme and it leads to the transfer of molecular oxygen all right to a substrate whatever reactant is there it will lead to transfer of molecular oxygen from the air right then we have hydrogenase what does hydrogenase do conversion of molecular hydrogen that is h2 to protons and electrons right then this is a very important enzyme cytochrome p450 there have not there has not been a lot of questions uh, first of all you should know what is why it is 450 because it absorbs light at the 450 nanometer range and that's why it's called cytochrome p450 again iron is the metal and it's uh, involved in drug metabolism it's a very very important enzyme almost all 75 to 80 percent of all drugs uh, that you consume they are meta it is metabolized in the liver by cytochrome p450 right so it's found in the liver and then we have these three pro proteins are also very very important see the top these top three these hemoglobin myoglobin and hemerythrin these are very important you have to study them with the structure as well then we have cytochrome p450 and then we have ferritoxin ferritin and transferritin these are also very important enzymes so uh, ferri ferritoxin is involved in electron transport uh, ferritin as the name suggests fe it's, it has fe all right so it's it's involved in iron storage okay it's involved in iron storage and transferritin like you can see the name trans is there so it is involved in iron transport so that's the way to remember ferritin is used in iron storage and trans means transport so it's used in iron transport then we have peroxidase what does peroxidase do peroxidase basically it catalyzes the reactions of h2o2 right so h2 it catalyzes all the reactions of h2o2 and same both of these enzymes have the same function catalase and peroxy peroxidase they both catalyze reactions of h2o2 and they are very very important for the body because they do not uh, lead to i mean they um, they are involved in uh, or i can say they do not let 
uh, O2 free they do not uh, lead to build up of free radicals all right these both these enzymes they do not lead to build up of free radical then we have vitamin B12 it has many functions cobalt is the main metal involved and uh, it is used it has a lot of functions one of the functions is synthesis of red blood cells all right then we have hemocyanin hemocyanin basically it's a copper metal uh, it's a copper enzyme or copper protein and it has it is also in, in, involved in O2 transport in invertebrates all right it's involved in O2 transport in e invertebrates okay so you can see there are three kinds of uh, oxygen transport proteins one is hemocyanin which has copper copper metal um, then we had studied about hemoglobin which also which has iron metal and it is also involved in O2 transport and then heme erythrin also we had studied again an iron um, iron metal which is also involved in oxygen transport so there are three uh, different enzymes or proteins which are involved in oxygen transport all right then we have ceruloplasmin this is also a very important enzyme um, again uh, it's it has copper and is used in Fe transfer from ferritin to transferritin so I told you ferritin is iron storage and uh, transferritin is iron transfer transport so from iron store from the storage it helps to transfer it to transfer it and that's the role of that's the main role of ceruloplasmin and almost 95% uh, of your 80 to 95% of your copper that is found in your human plasma uh, it is involved with ceruloplasmin all right then we have amine oxidase amine oxidase again a copper metal uh, copper protein involved in oxidation of amine to aldehyde all right then carboxy uh, carboxypeptidase very very important carboxypeptidase it's a zinc enzyme which is involved in hydrolysis of peptide bond uh, it has also a mechanism associated with it and there are a lot of questions that have that have been asked from the mechanism itself so this is a very important uh, protein right so i'll put an arrow on the important ones one is carboxypeptidase then is ceruloplasmin then we have hemocyanin vitamin b12 these are the most important okay then we have transferritin then we have ferritin then we have ferrit ferritoroxin so almost all you can see are very very important and the top three right so mostly that's why bio inorganic is all about mugging up because there are so many proteins they have some metal but all of them have different mechanisms and different kinds of uh, ligands attached okay so you have to know all of these stuff then chlorophyll again a very important uh, you should know the structure of chlorophyll as well um, magnesium is the main metal involved and it's involved in absorption of light and helps uh, your plant in photosynthesis right then we have phosphotransferase it's a magnesium again a magnesium metal, magnesium enzyme uh, that is involved in transport of glucose mannose and uh, you know um, mannitol etc inside the cell okay and then we have urease this is the only nickel metal um, involved urease and it helps in catalyze cat it basically catalyzes the hydrolysis of urea into ammonia and co2 right that's the role of nickel uh, that's the role of urease and the metal involved is nickel right then we have arginine Arg uh, okay it's not arginine it's i think arginase i might have made a small mistake over here it's not arginine it's i think arginase okay um it basically catalyzes the conversion of arginine into urea and orthenine okay it's the last step in the urea cycle it's the last step in the urea cycle and the metal involved is uh, magnesium all right uh, then these three are also the very important these three amino peptidase nitrogenase and superoxide dismutase uh, in in particular nitrogenase and super superoxide dismutase there there have been a lot of questions in net exam so if you are preparing for jam then heme proteins are good enough you just do heme globin, hemoglobin myoglobin heme, heme erythrin and hemocyanin and that is good enough for jam but if you are preparing for net or gate then you have to prepare all, all of these uh, enzymes all right uh, next is amino peptidase so amino peptidase it has magnesium and magnesium and it catalyzes the reaction of amino acids okay catalyzes the reaction of amino acids um okay then we have nitrogenase and what does nitrogenase do um it these are the important enzymes because this has iron and molybdenum nitrogenase enzymes and it is involved in nitrogen fixation so you have to know a lot about nitrogenase there have been a lot of questions and similarly about superoxide dismutase it cons consists of copper zinc and molybdenum so it consists of three metals and there is i still remember there was a question that which which all metals are involved in superoxide dismutase and a lot of people it was a four marker and they had given combination of three different metals in each of the options and students got so confused that it was almost impossible to answer if you hadn't mugged up well even if you had mugged up well the options were so confusing that 
you know most of them most of the students mark the wrong answer so please be careful that you all should also know the metals involved so in superoxide dismutase we have copper zinc and molybdenum and it it, it is basically the role or the function is dismutation of superoxide into oxygen and h2 so superoxide is very very dangerous for our body so it leads to the formation of it dismutates basically your superoxide to lead to the formation of o2 and h2o2 that is hydrogen peroxide right um and then your peroxid peroxid peroxidase and catalase they can further catalyze the reactions of h2o2 and you know further degrade it into more suitable products so these were the certain enzymes that were involved in your um uh, bio bio organic chemistry and the ones that I have marked with the arrows you have to be comfortable with the structure as well so do let me know uh, that what what should I do with the structures? How do I explain you the oxidation state uh, of the various metals and how many oxygens are attached uh, to those metals? Because that is also very, very uh, relevant as uh, for the entrance exams. So whatever you suggest, I'll do like that. If you want me to solve questions, because most like there have been a lot of questions in bio in organic chemistry and we can cover most of the part if we just do the questions so please uh, give me your feedback in comment section what do you want and if you want me to explain the structures and the mechanism um, then suggest me how i can you know um, draw the structures in a short period of time or if you guys can contribute you can just draw the structures and send it to me by email then it would be very very easy for me to um you know um make a video on that right so thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video do subscribe to my channel and share it share it among your friends because sharing is caring right so anyway thank you